Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And for those of you that are asking me, a lot of you are actually asking me about the news and interest panel that is available uh, and rolling out. Um, you know, I still have a lot of people saying, hey, I don't have it. How do I get it? Well, you got to wait until it, it actually shows up by itself. You can't really get it like that. Uh, the requirements are very, very simple. All you need to do is have the correct version of Windows up to date with the latest updates and have the uh, stable version of Microsoft Edge, which most of you have. So if you have that, be patient. Uh, at one point, you'll see that the news and interest panel is going to show up. You'll see the weather, you'll see the temperature. And when you click on it, you'll have the uh, the news and interest panel that will show up that you can actually check out. Um, it is going to be rolling out to everybody. Uh, there's no you know, specific markets where it's not available. Apparently it's available everywhere. It's just that they're rolling it out. So you gotta give it time for them to roll it out as they're probably doing testing at the same time to make sure that it's all right everywhere. Um, if you don't see it by chance, you can you know go and right click on the taskbar and check you have news and interest in the menu and here you'll be able to see show icon and so on but uh, I know that a lot of you will just turn it off uh, because you probably won't want to have that extra little thing there for those of you that are complaining about you know well bloatware blah 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 these don't impact pretty much the uh, the functionalities of Windows and a lot of people are in the impression that Windows 10 is you know uh, bloated with too many things and uh, it's actually the other way around Windows 10 is actually very slim and whatever feature, whatever thing they actually have changed or moved on, it doesn't really add to performance issues or problems. And um, actually Windows 10 in most cases runs actually as good, if not better than Windows 7 in many cases because of its memory optimization options, which are much more advanced and the way that it actually uses, uh, you know, PC resources. Windows 10 is most of the time and I've seen this a few times when I still had my Windows 7 machines most of the Windows 10 things that I would do were actually running better than Windows 7 for uh, the same type of tasks that I asked for it um, people have the impression Windows 10 is like you know this big giant operating system it's not bigger than uh, Windows 7 and it actually over all the different versions have uh, pretty much maintained the same uh, performance level for uh, an operating system. So news and interest, just be patient. Once again, it's going to show up at some point and you'll have it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.